Welcome back to the Scale Project. I'm Kricker. This is Alpha Bravo. And since this week I didn't have anything big to review or nothing new to look over, I thought I'd do a little bit of talk about low effort customs. I mean, I don't want to say lazy because I do these all the time. Of course I am lazy, but that's beside the point. But these are things you can do if you don't have a lot of resources like a 3D printer or other things to do to fill in missing characters that either you can't acquire the figure or the figure doesn't exist. So, the uh, first off is the lowest of the low effort of customs is the reuse or the uh, repurpose. And like this, this is the Nest Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee, the Nest repaint that I've decided to use at repurpose as dipstick. You see, he kind of vaguely has an old-timey grill on him. It kind of has his little chin sticking out there. So, yeah. Until I decide to do a better custom, I'm going to use repurpose him as my dipstick. All right. Next up on the list of low effort customs is the head swap. And because I don't like the didn't like the Prime RC mold. I went ahead and got another Studio Series 86 RC. Actually, I got it as the two-pack from Walmart, ridiculously cheap. But anyway, <laughs> and then you can just pop the head off of one, put it on another, and you've got your new character. The paints and the plastics already match, so that worked out pretty well. Uh, it still transforms. You just have to take her uh, ponytail off. But it still transforms. So, And I like this mold a lot better for Ariel than the... Prime RC mold that they put on her. So, yeah. Uh, the ball joints for the head, you can have balls or mushrooms. There might be some adjusted needed there. The ball for RC was actually smaller than the aerial source mold. So I actually just took some plumber PTF, PTFE tape and wrapped it around the ball to enlarge the ball enough that, you know, it stays and you get nice fluid movement, but it you know, stays on and doesn't shake when you shake her. So, and, and it makes the thing completely reversible. So if I wanted to, I could pop this head on off, put it back on the other aerial body, put the RC head back on here and sell her. So it's a good way to do, to get the characters you want or the body type you want, like I did in my case. All right. And the last of the low effort customs is the minor repaint and since the night prowlers and all the other walmart beast wars were ridiculously cheap at uh, ross i decided to pick up an extra and turn it turn it into the leo breaker for my mayhem group and i'll tell you he looks like 100 percent cooler just changing the yellows to blacks so and the reason why I say this is minor repaint is because nothing of the beast mode has changed. All the beast mode is the same. Just to do some minor paint and you've got a new character. And this is like just one paint. One paint and a paintbrush and you could have your custom character. Like after that, then you start talking, you know, full body repaints like my boss last week with a little bit of fabrication. Or you do like the high fabrication <laughs> customs after that like a lot of my djd but uh yeah let's talk, talk a little bit about how you can get figures or characters that you don't have or never had a <laughs> or never had a figure for them just by repurposing swapping heads or just doing minor repaints easy ways to get the characters you want. So, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later.